Good morning, guys. A long time. No speak. I know it's only been a week for you guys, but for me, like real time, I only skipped one video, but because my birthday vlog was kind of pre filmed. I've had a good solid maybe like 10 days of no work, basically just recharging and recuperating. If you missed my Instagram, you won't know that I have had COVID. So happy birthday to me. Pretty much as soon as my birthday finished, I was like, oh, <clears throat> and I was like, well, why am I feeling like this? I've just had a cold in December. Surely I'm not getting another one. And I was right, it wasn't a cold. It was full of body aches, um, as well as congested and just splitting headache, really sore throat, persistent cough, all the signs and symptoms that is COVID. I have had it once before and it was pre-vaccine. So, sorry, I'm just gonna do my hair whilst I chat to you guys. It was pre-vaccines and it was on Christmas we had it. We were just about recovering on Christmas day, I remember both myself and Tom in 2020, Christmas 2020. Yeah, must have been. And wow, that was horrendous, I'm not gonna lie. I know a lot of people had it much worse, so I can't complain, but we were really poorly. And this time it was like, all the same symptoms, but almost like they came and passed a lot quicker. Almost like my body knew what it was doing, immune system, antibodies kicking in straight away, knowing what they're fighting. I did at one point go to the doctors and I never go to the doctors, but I just thought, to be honest, at first I didn't think it was COVID. I thought it was some kind of infection that I would be able to just get antibiotics for to, to help kick it, but uh, but yeah, no, she said no antibiotics for this. I'll give you like a nasal spray thing and just keep with the lemsips and the paracetamol. But she said COVID is going around. Could possibly be that or an RSV, respiratory sinus virus. No idea if that's what that means, but I have just made that up. And if that's right, then pat on the back to me. But yeah, some kind of viral thing that I had, but that I just had to literally rest. That was my main piece of advice so that's what i did i did take a covid test as soon as i'd had that doctor's appointment it came straight back positive so i was like right well that is what it is at least now i know and i know that in order to get better i just have to rest which is exactly what i did so apologies for missing an upload i know you guys will understand and even now to be honest with you i'm not i'm not fully back to where i was before but I'm definitely a whole other person. I've I've got a little bit of energy back. Oh no, a lot of energy back, let's face it. Um, just not my full <clears throat> blown energy and <clears throat> I'm still doing that a little bit. But apart from that, we're all good. And I've just felt very, you guys know I like my home, but even I have felt like a bit of a, a bit too much of a hermit. I was missing not getting out on walks with Barney. Um, I had him in like daycare a couple of days. My mum walked him a couple of times. And so yeah, I was quite eager to get back out walking with him, fresh air. And that's what I've been doing. Other than that, nothing. So I've managed to binge loads of new TV, <laughs> TV things. Started The Traitors, which is just my absolute all time favorite. Um, I'm already predicting the winner being Harry, if you're watching. Not Harry, if you're watching. If you guys are watching The Traitors, um, my prediction is that Harry will win. In fact, by the time you're watching this, there will be a new episode out, so I hope that he's not, he's not, um, he's not gone. It's annoying that I can't just binge the full lot, or at least it be on every week, like Love Island is, every day of the week, apart from obviously Saturdays. 
you've got to wait Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. It's clever how they do that, but it really makes me look forward to it each week. So yes, that's what I've been doing, guys. Apologies for the absence. I'm literally just putting a few like, little curls. I washed my hair last night, so without styling at all. Sometimes I feel like it just looks a bit flat, or not even flat, but just a bit frizzy almost. So I like to just add a little, a little curl that will last me until I next wash it. Just, um, even though I've not got plans or anything today, my plans for today, so that you guys know what's coming up in this vlog, is a fairly chilled one, bit of a catch up, a um, trip out to Home Sense and TK Maxx. They've got all the final clearance bits in, which you guys know I can't resist. So we're gonna go have a look there at some point. And the main thing on my agenda is to get my wardrobe filming room space emptied because in a couple of days I'm having some carpet fitters come and pull back the carpet so it has to be empty by then and then a couple of days after that I've got Hammond's coming which I'm so excited for to fit my new fitted wardrobes in there so it's going to be like a wall-to-wall -wall. I'll do a whole like transformation video I'll show you exactly um, what I have done and we can do a bit of a wardrobe organized clear out declutter type video very soon that will be coming so yeah really excited for that so that's on my agenda today i need to i've got a pax wardrobe in the in the minute from ikea who's that and so what i think i'm going to do is just use the spare bedroom as a bit of a dumping ground for until the new wardrobes are built so i'm going to empty the wardrobe and then when the carpet fitters come just ask them politely to move it for me be a helping hand and just move that for me and then um there's drawers in there as well so i think i'm gonna empty those out and again get the carpet fitters to move them for me and then that's it oh i've got the mirror as well where am i gonna put the mirror i have no idea might even just temporarily have to bring it in here or something but yeah so that is my main focus for today um otherwise i hope you guys are all well i hope no one else has been suffering the start of the year i feel like it's just one of those things isn't it whereby january new year new me and everyone's on it and the pressure's almost i feel like a lot of people this year seem to just be taking january a bit slower that's one thing i think covid taught us in the lockdowns is how precious our time is and how we really benefit as humans from a break and from that kind of reset and when we were forced to be at home and forced to not do anything and to not go out and to just literally think what we're going to do with our time let's think of things that I've either wanted to do I enjoy doing whether that be a new hobby a new learning a new instrument language whatever it was it was a chance for us all to just kind of reset recoup and recharge and i feel like this january i've kind of been forced to do that but i'm quite grateful that i've had that opportunity so yes i've made some few goals and targets and resolutions and all of that kind of stuff but more so without the pressure and more just as intentions kind of using January to set my intentions. I mean, there's a reason that the world works the way it does in terms of the weather, you know? March is the sort of time that we expect new beginnings. We start to see the snowdrops come out, you know, the new blooms start coming out and that's the kind of time for fresh beginnings, new start. And instead, we should, rather than doom and gloom throughout January and February, just use that time to just set intentions, have a slower paced month or two to just, yeah, reset and recharge. So that's my little message to you guys as well, that if you feel like you need this time to just set back and just have a break, then do that whether that be a break from drinking a break from um <clears throat> socializing 
a break from, I know we can't all have breaks from work, that would be the ideal, but you know, in your free time that you do have to just take things a little slower, you know? Get out in nature and just move your body, fill your body with nutritional goodness while still having leftover Christmas chocolates. <laughs> so yeah, anyway, that's me done for brief, very brief, um, refresh of my hair after I've washed it, but I'm not doing anything in particular. I mean, to be honest with you, when I get going with organizing and stuff, I end up throwing my hair up on top of my head anyway. I'm just gonna run some oil through the ends and a little touch of hairspray and that's me all good to go. Went for a lovely walk this morning with Barney, had a little Costa breakfast and I feel like now that I'm ready for the day, I'm ready to get going with starting to clear out that room first and foremost I think. If I make a start on it I'll definitely feel a bit more on it, you know? Okay, so I thought I would just show you what we are looking like in this um, room before any work gets started. So in terms of inside the wardrobes and what I need to empty out, I feel like the best way to do this is going to be to empty the entire contents of the wardrobe into just like into the spare bedroom for now. Um, and then I might just have to get them to help me to just shimmy the wardrobe this wardrobe out of the way even if i just kind of put them over to this side that should give them plenty of space to be able to pull the carpet back and to allow them to build the wardrobes in here then these drawers as well i'm going to have to move so again because they are full they're quite heavy so i'm going to empty each drawer out into its own bag just so that everything's really easily um able to sort of go back into the drawers once we've moved them to wherever i'm going to move them and yeah, a couple of bits down here. These like spare bedding and stuff that I've had for when we've had people stop over that can all go into backpacks and storage. And within that process, hopefully we'll have the chance to have a bit of a clear out as well. I didn't have one, or sorry, I did have one not too long ago. So there shouldn't be too much to get rid of, but just to be able to have a bit more space and for me to be able to see everything a bit more, I will just, before putting things back into the new wardrobes, I will just go through and see if there's anything that I do want to get rid of. I was just about to head downstairs, but I'll just show you quickly what I have left to do in this room. It's very bare. We literally just have wardrobe, mirror, and these drawers to empty. Everything else has been taken out now. I have a PR package there and some Abercrombie bits that have been delivered. So I'm going to show you those in a bit. I'll show you those later on. But yeah, I'm just heading downstairs now that I've done all of those bits. Just have a breather. What we're saying about just pause take things slower in january so i've done that kind of stage one we'll do the wardrobe next and just that should be fairly easy i'm just going to take actually my vitamins for the day as well as the kind of like vitamin i'm not going to go into it too much because you guys know i work with my vitamins usually i do still have the discount code with them free if you did want to use it you can get i think it's throughout january it's like up to 70 percent off with that code so use it if you haven't already but i'm gonna take these which i don't think i've shown you these before these are the multivitamin jelly beans you get three different flavors and me being me i'm like well i've got to have because three is the the sort of like portion size i've got to have one of each flavor so i've got apple raspberry and orange um so yeah i'm gonna have these use that discount code if you want i'll leave a link to them below if you want to uh try my vitamins out and oh i was gonna say as well um whilst we're on the topic of health as well whilst we're on that kind of topic i mentioned something on my instagram which i thought i might as well mention it here on youtube because i appreciate 
not everyone follows me on Instagram. Um, if you would like to though, it would be much appreciated. But if you don't have Instagram, then you will have missed that I'm working with my orthodontist, orthodontist, orthodontist who did my Invisalign, which I paid for and everything. I was a paying customer, but chatting to him about what I do and he was like, oh, I'd be interested in maybe giving you guys an offer. So I've kind of teamed up with him over on Instagram, but wanted to mention it here so that you don't miss it. But um, basically, if you call them quote Freya on booking, there's loads of stuff you can get. It's the free 3D scan. So you can see like before and afters, they do like the, I don't, I'm not sure the name of the device that they use, but a really cool 3D design thing. Um, you get the free whitening at the end. Hello, gorgeous boy. He keeps nudging me to stroke him. You get three free whitening at the end, which is like usually 350 quid. You get three sets of Vivera, I think they're called, the retainers at the end, which is like what I'm on now, to sleep in. You get them free. They're usually like five, 600 quid. Um, what else do you get? You get 50 pounds off any offer they're currently running. And I think this month, if you see on the website, it's literally like a grand and a half worth of savings. So well worth booking in and quoting Freya if you wanted to try Invisalign and you're in the Harrogate, Otley or Cheadle region. So yeah, thought I'd mention that. But the, the reason why I'm kind of brought onto that is for anyone that does have Invisalign or retainers that you either struggle to keep clean or you want an easy foolproof me foolproof method of doing it. I saw the recommendations of this. It was Lisa, my friend Lisa on YouTube. She has just started her Invisalign journey and she, I saw that she bought this and I thought this is gonna be perfect for my little sleep retainers. So it uses, it's called the Dental Pod from Zima Dental. So I'll let you guys know how I get on with it. But you fill up with the solution in there and it uses like ultrasonic something or other. Yeah, the ultrasonic cleaning machine to help clean your retainers. So anyway, I am going to, what am I gonna do now? I'll actually just show you that neon PR parcel that has just arrived because I feel like it's perfect timing with the new year because I have had a sneak peek as to what's inside. So let's go get that. So I've moved these two actually, these were in my filming room. I've popped them down here for now, which I actually quite like. So who knows, they may be staying there. They're from, Robinson's Interiors, if you are interested. And then the Contorted Hazel I got from a friend who is a florist, the Uncoats florist, if you wanted to ask her if you wanted any Contorted Hazel, is what it's called. But anyway, yeah, so I've got my little neon package that I wanted to open up with you. And it's kind of like in celebration of the new year with their Wellbeing Discovery Collection and by the founder, brand new book it's called the four ways to well-being so this leads me on to something that i asked on my instagram at the start of the year about um any book recommendations because i wanted to compile a 2024 book reading list of books that are on that list that i really want to read i wasn't even going to share this but a few of you were saying oh my god i would love to know what your reading list is so i will share that with you in just a second more energy better sleep less stress and mood boost, which I guess is all around, based around the scents that she uses. So it looks like quite a nice, easy read with different um, sort of chapters and breakdowns, imagery even. So with a little bookmark, I'm gonna pop that in there and give that a read at some point. But with that, they have also sent me their Wellbeing Discovery Collection, which is so kind of them because I love Neom products my smell's just about coming back so i feel like it's a good time to start using these now and oh yeah the happiness one um is so nice this the happiness candle you got the perfect night's sleep mist which i actually have this on the go at the moment in our bedroom might pop that one in the spare room actually and then the real luxury magnesium body butter 
scent, which is the scent to distress with lavender, jasmine, and sandalwood. And apparently, magnesium is really good for anxiety sufferers. So if you particularly suffer with that or you get stressed and anxious quite easily to have like magnesium bath salts magnesium supplements which i do have some from my vitamins as well um they're all beneficial to zen so that kind of makes sense with it being the scent to de-stress then also lastly the super shower i've just noticed i've broken one of my nails so ignore that if you saw that um the super shower power body cleanser this sounds like my kind of scent spearmint rosemary and eucalyptus amazing and then that yes will lead me nicely onto my 2024 reading list the one that i'm currently on now and this is kind of my aim throughout this year rather than having to get through all of these books by a certain time like a book a month or something like that which it's quite nice to set a goal like that but then it doesn't become a chore but it becomes more like oh, i haven't read yet today and then it's on your mind I just want to constantly have a book on the go and I think if by doing that I will naturally get through a lot of these books within my list so yeah the first book is actually one that I need to finish this is the Britney Spears The Woman and Me I'm about a third maybe just over a third of the way through that one Britney Spears was the thing and there were things in that already that I'm like no way I had no idea that that happened um it's kind of a bit of a poignant read, I will say that. But anyway, other books within my list, I have quite a lot of kind of self-help type books or non-fiction. Hang on, fiction, non-fiction. Yeah, non-fiction books. Why did that just... Anyway, um, but I find I get through fictional books quicker so I definitely want to add more fictional books onto my list but non-fiction I have the Manifest Dive Deeper I've read Roxy's first book Manifest which is the orange covered one and loved it so I feel like I really want to oh okay there's like little exercises and stuff you can do in here this is why I like her books as well you can literally get pen to paper and just have a good jot down so that's on my list I also have this, which I bought a while ago and just haven't picked it up yet, but I have seen quite a few people um, talk about this. It's called 101 Essays That Will Change The Way You Think. So again, because of it being broken down into all of the different essays, I feel like it's quite an easy read to just go to and from. You don't have to read it page to page before moving on to another book. You can kind of have this alongside another book. Another book that I started and haven't finished I'm actually only like a quarter of the way through this. This is like another self-help type book. Breathe in, breathe out. And it's essentially Sunday Times bestseller of, um, I think this was sent to me in a PR package as well, actually. It might have even been Neon. I can't remember. But I really enjoyed it and I just want to keep going with it. But it's different kind of breathing techniques and methods to help keep calm, help to with like meditation, different exercises and also learning about you and your breath style realizing or starting to read that book i realized very much so that i am a very shallow breather which is um very common for anxiety sufferers so even just by switching up my breathing and relaxing my shoulders dropping my shoulders like sends the certain things to my brain to make me relax so even just by changing the way you breathe can have a huge effect so anyway that was one that i had on my list that i still want to continue um i also bought this one towards the end of last year which i haven't started yet i don't want to have too many on the go you know i quite like to i'm a checklist kind of person i like to get something done before i move on to the next thing so this probably will be in a few months time that i probably get around to reading this but the diary of the ceo stephen bartlett love his podcast so really want to give that a read then a couple of fictional books that i have here in front of me this one the family upstairs i read i want to say like when it first came out a couple of years ago whenever it first came out um this or whenever everyone was talking about it anyway and then she's brought out the family remains which is like a follow-on which i'd quite like to um read because i did enjoy the family upstairs 
And then another Lisa Jewell book, the None of This Is True, Her Lies Could Kill You. This was a Costco purchase, I can tell my own label. Two women, two stories, which one do you trust? Who knows? It's 11 11. I also have on my list of books to read. Let's have a look. Colleen Hoover, loved her books last year in 2023, read a couple. I read the It Ends With Us and It Starts With Us. And then, was there another one that I read? Verity, loved Verity. So there is another one called Too Late that is meant to be quite good. Let me know if you've read it and what you thought. And then also another kind of thriller, that genre that I love that I've heard good things about is a book called The Housemaid. So again, let me know if you've read that and if you enjoyed it. And then a couple of other things that I've seen floating around on social media and online of being highly reviewed, not a typical book I would go for, but the whole point of reading, I think anyway, and the fun of it, is by sometimes dipping your toe out of the water of what you would ordinarily read and just trying something new and potentially being pleasantly surprised by enjoying it. So Lessons in Chemistry is one, and The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo, before I believe it's coming out in Netflix, on Netflix, unless if it already has, I don't know. Without further ado, I'm going to pop these books back away and get going with The Wardrobe. Let's go get on with that before heading over to Home Sense for a couple of hours. I love a Home Sense trip, anyone else? Oh, I'm so excited. I feel like it's been too long since I've been to Home Sense. Right, I'm gonna pop these in my bookshelf and head back upstairs. me when I was out you always miss me you're a cutie anyway guys oh I'm back home <laughs> I was gonna say welcome back definitely not welcome back to the channel um I'm back home and I have as you may be able to tell a new addition so I picked up this table I've been after some kind of setup here in this little gap just to be able to maybe pop a lamp pop a candle, maybe a nice display book or something on there. And I didn't want it too big because I want the flexibility of being able to move it around if needs be. It kind of looks a bit mushroom-like. <laughs> but it is a solid wood table. It was $79.99, obviously from HomeSense. And I really like the texture to it. It's not too perfect, which I like. You can see all the like little knots and grooves and this kind of like little section here i don't know i just really really like the rustic kind of finish to that so i am really happy with it it does look maybe a tad small for the space but once i've got a little lamp on there and i've styled it up little coaster for a drink that's all we kind of really need there i might even do like a floor lamp here maybe instead so yeah that is my latest home sense edition i'm going to show you a couple of other bits that i got as well not too much i will admit the final clearance they had loads of it but i'm a real bargain hunter and i like it when they have a few reductions to the point where they end up being um like things for like less than a pound like 70p 60p that kind of thing so i'm gonna go back again soon hello barney oh you're kind of in the way of the camera oh yes i know cuddles 
shampoo from a bath last night and it smells amazing. I used the Whey shampoo, Fur Baby it's called. It's so nice. Mm. You don't smell a wet dog anymore. <sighs> you smell of Whey. Posh pooch. You're a posh pooch. You a posh pooch. You are, aren't you? Anyway, I'm gonna hold off going back to the going back to home since TK Max when well not hold off. Let's face it, I'm probably gonna be going there every day for a while. <laughs> Just to see the final clearance bits, things that get um reduced even further, so you get the real bargain bargains and um even TK Maxx as well with the clothes, because they have quite a few. It was almost too much. Do you know what I mean? You know when they have too many things. I was like, oh, I'll come back another day. But I did pick up two things from the final clearance. They're the same. But I found these at £1.30, reduced from £3.99. So again, £1.30, it's like not mega, mega. When they get these yellow stickers, just you wait, these sort of things will be reduced to like 10p. But there were only two of these, and I wanted to pick them both up because they are glass cleaners, and I thought they'd be really handy to have for my mirrors, because my mirrors get dusty. If I'm doing like outfit pictures and stuff, I quite often will take a photo of an outfit in a mirror and then not end up posting it because I'm like, oh, the mirror was dusty and you can see flecks of dust on like if I'm wearing something black or dark. So just to have one in the kitchen for that mirror and then in my filming room, once obviously it's back in order with the mirror in there. Um, and you basically one upstairs, one downstairs. And that's that. And then I also picked up a notebook because my notebook that I use for like my, just my box standard notebook that I just jot down for or like kind of prep for videos, things that I want to get done, to-do lists, that kind of thing that I do most days. Um, I thought I would just pick up a new one because I'm on the last few pages of my previous one. This one was 6 99 and then you can pop like the little date up there, which I always tend to do as well with my to-do list. So I always like to know what date I'm on. And yeah, it's just a really nice, simple notebook. I thought that looked lovely. Now, I got this book and there was only one of them. And I thought in the kitchen somewhere or even just to have in like the recipe book cupboard. But my camera just cut me off there. I don't know what happened. But anyway, I was just saying this book I thought would look lovely in the kitchen. However... There's a little mark on it, which was a little bit annoying. And I said, is there any that you've got the full price that I'm happy to pay for, but without the mark? And he said, no, but we can reduce it. It was 22. He gave it to me for 10 pounds. So I thought, you know what? I'm gonna take that and just ignore the fact there's a little mark on there. It's a kitchen book. Recipe books tend to get a bit grubby anyway. Okay, last but not least, last purchase that I made so far and definitely one that I'm gonna keep my eyes peeled for and another one of these in like maybe a different home sense or TK Max, but it's this gorgeous wooden square frame but the actual image obviously it's got this like pass part two in the image that you put inside isn't square because i know a lot of prints and stuff that you can buy online it's quite hard to find square ones so i like the fact that it's a square frame i also love the rustic kind of finish to it it's quite textured again like i'm saying with that table it's not too like perfect and pristine it's also a really nice dark wood color that i love um, so I have actually ordered a print from a brand called Trove Prints who I follow on Instagram and they do the most beautiful like oil like matte finished prints from original oil artwork that just looks so beautiful. I've ordered one for that. If it arrives and I like it, when it arrives I'll show it to you. Um, then I might order some more smaller ones for like styling and shelves. We've got some photo frames, but I think it's quite nice to have a couple of photos of us, but we don't have loads. So it's also quite nice to have some prints and artwork instead. So anyway, that's my little mini home sets haul. Stay tuned for potentially more because more trips are probably incoming, especially with the final clearance in the stores. Um, but yeah, I have just a few other things that I was going to take you upstairs to show and that is from Abercrombie and Fitch Which actually ironically is what I'm wearing today So I'm going to do a bit of a try on with you and share with you the bits that I did get in fact There was something that I bought on TikTok shop which The reason why it's like from Abercrombie that I'm thinking of mentioning this is because It's in here somewhere Um 
Abercrombie don't do return labels pre-printed, which is incredibly annoying when you have something to return and you don't own a printer. TikTok shop, I saw that they sell these like mini printers, which are perfect because you get, you get normal paper and then you also get sticky paper. So you can use one of those sticky paper rolls, print an image direct from this printer onto the sticky paper and that's your returns label. So now I have my own little gadget to do that. Genius. Anyway, let's get these open and share with you. I'm gonna get everything out of its packaging first. Firstly, out of today is this jumper from Abercrombie. I'm not sure if they'll still have this. If they will, I'll leave it linked along with the other Abercrombie bits. My typical Sunday attire outfit, um, Lululemon leggings. No, I tell a lie. These are the Lululemon dupe leggings, the Amazon more affordable ones. So I'll leave both linked to the Lulus, which are my fave, Amazon very, very close dupe. But I'll leave the specific ones linked so that you know which ones to get. And then just some little socks from a brand called Elevane. Elevane. Okay, this is the first outfit I have to share with you from Abercrombie & Fitch. I have to say, unboxing everything, I've realized how many basics I have stocked up on, especially their t-shirts, I love them. But before we jump into the basics, I thought this would be a really nice, all of these were like sale finds as well by the way, and I think they had like extra discount off the sale price, so make sure to check that out. Um, but yeah, I thought this would be really nice for summer, so very ahead of the game with this one and this is like a beautiful kind of off-white creamy color it's a one shoulder top and then matching bottoms so they are two piece they are separate so you can mix and match the only thing is i've got both in a medium and i feel like the bottoms are a bit too big for me so i mean the top's a bit baggy as well to be honest with you but i feel like the top i would keep in a medium because i wouldn't want it too tight around my waist um but I do like the length of these, so I'm not sure whether to maybe see if they've got a small or stick with the medium because there's no drawstring, you can't tighten them. Okay, next up I've got a pair of jeans which I feel like Abercrombie are known for. These are in the curve love range which I think definitely helps if you are like me, bigger around this area and then smaller waist and you struggle with that like gap at the back of jeans. These are a 28 and they do fit but I do think like I'm like in between 27 and 28, so if I go 28 curve, then usually it's a pretty good fit. So yeah, these are like a medium wash. Um, these are also in the short length. So I have some that are the regular, that are a bit longer, but I thought I would go for a short like these ones so that I could wear them with like trainers and they just kind of sit on my ankle. Um, and then I also grabbed this McLaren T because McLaren through and through. I feel like ever since Daniel Ricciardo was Team McLaren and then Lando Norris watching the Formula One on Netflix, I just feel like I'm a McLaren girl, you know? So yeah, the fact that they brought out these McLaren tees and sweatshirts, I was like, oh, I'm just gonna grab one. Grab one for, for a bit of fun. And I really liked this one. They had some like with different colors, but this was obviously just very neutral. A uh, bit of a graphic tee. I've also got on, actually, under this, this, one of these bralettes that they do. Really sort of seamless and super soft. So I picked up a couple more in um, like a chocolate brown kind of colour. Again, goes with most kind of neutral tops. This, These are in a medium, I get. And then I also picked up the black version. I like them because they don't have any clasp at the back so it's just slip on, super comfortable. They do have removable padding which I usually tend to wear the first time and then by the time we've gone through a wash just leave the padding out. But yeah I also like the fact that they have adjustable straps at the back and also if you can see this little clasp here for any racer back tops you have the option to do that with it as well so super super handy basics to have these ones so yeah i have pretty much every color the next up i have this kind of crossover top it is because of the crossover it is a little bit cropped i mean it sits just kind of on top of these jeans but really nice fabric quite 
thick um, but also super soft as well so this one I got in this kind of neutral beige color but they had it in black as well which I was very tempted for and I think maybe another color I'm not sure oh and I got this one in a medium okay I've got a load of basic tees to share with you but before I do I thought I'd just show you these two little crop tops that I got as well kind of like bralettes they are ribbed and they are super super soft but very seamless so again adjustable straps that's the back of them I wear them in a medium and good for just wearing under like basic tees of which I have a few to share with you this first one in a large is called their baby tee which is a bit more fitted obviously I did get a large though um and it's a little bit more cropped I've got a few of these already not in black though so I thought I would get a black one as well but really good for wearing with high-waisted jeans joggers whatever it may be if you just want that kind of cropped top without it being like loads of midriff on show then these are the perfect length for that let me just get this right this one is um the soft essentials which i also picked up in black and it's very similar to the baby tee except it's just a little bit longer it's more of like a standard t-shirt length so this one is in a large uh, there's no real need to size up in these but I do have a couple already that are more fitted. That's the only reason why on this occasion I've sized up a bit. Um, and then I have the exact same in a large in the black. And then I also have one other black and grey tee. But these ones are slightly different. This one is not from the soft essentials, but just the essentials. And I would say it's still just as soft. Um, but And it's a bit more boxy as well but it is um, just a little bit thinner and that's already in a small, so that's definitely more oversized, that one. This is called the Easy Tee in an extra large, so it's very oversized, this one. In hindsight, this one's actually probably a bit too big. I don't know if this was men's or not, I can't remember. But yeah, much more boxy and oversized. It would be all right, actually, if I wanted to have a leggings and t-shirt day where I wanted the t-shirt a little bit longer. Um, but yeah, that is probably... I, I think I'll still keep it because I do love my basics like this, but I probably don't need to get an extra large in the easy tee. I'm assuming the easy tee means more boxy and oversized, naturally. Yeah, this is what this one looks like. I've got a couple of jumpers to share with you as well. Knit jumpers, good for this time of the year and with them being on sale as well, so yeah. This one is in a medium. I think they called it like a funnel neck jumper or something. And I wasn't sure with it being the high neck if it would be a little bit itchy but it's not it feels lovely it is like high neck like that without being too much of a thick roll neck and i love the side slits again these kind of jumpers with the length of them i think are really nice with leggings as well i also quite like them with layered um above a shirt so you don't see the collar of the shirt but you can just pop the sleeves of your shirt out and then you just get through that slit again a little bit of like white a crisp white shirt underneath again i feel like that's very like old money style isn't it layering the cashmere with the white shirt uh, but yeah this is what this looks like this one is in a medium and last but not least probably my favorite combo that i've picked up from this haul these trousers which i'm definitely keeping i've had them in the past and had like the wrong it was either waist or length, I can't remember, but this for me is perfect. So these are the Sloan trousers. They do them in loads of different shades. I think actually the ones that I bought before, which I returned, they were the lighter, like neutral color, whereas this one's more of like the deeper beige, which I think suits my skin tone a bit better. So anyway, these are in a 27 regular length, which are just long enough, I would say, to be worn with flats. So whether that be sling back pumps, whether it be chunky trainers, um, sandals, whatever, but they just about graze the floor with me, and I'm five foot five um, in the regular length. So if you want them shorter than that, if you're shorter, or if you want them like ankle length, or if you want to be able to wear them with heels, just know that you can pick the long and the short options. Um, and then the waist, again, I've gone for the Curve Love range, which is perfect for me, and this time in a 27. And because they've got a little bit of stretch on the back, I would say the jeans stay true to size, size up, whereas these stay true to size or size down. Um, and then I've paired it with one of these Soft Essentials tees this time in white so i picked up a white one as well and also this is a medium so this one shows you what it's like when it's a bit more fitted sorry i've got that chocolate colored 
brown one still if you can see that i would just wear the neutral option and then last but not least thrown over the top just over my shoulders i picked up this knit which is so soft honestly guys these are just their knits are so nice so i did get this in an extra large again for me oh oversizing my knitwear is better because i prefer to wear them uh, with leggings than anything else <laughs> um and these are nice and oversized for me um these are definitely long enough or this jumper on me is definitely long enough to wear with leggings but um yeah even just worn with nice trousers like this i probably if i was going to do that though size down to maybe like a medium or something not size down just like stay true to size um but this is what kind of looks like just to give you an idea with these trousers maybe in the black the sloan's in the black which i do actually have so yeah maybe that could be a nice little outfit to wear um for a more comfy relaxed look that's a little well looks a bit dressier but feels still feels very relaxed and cozy but anyway this is my final couple of pieces that i got from abercrombie i feel like i'm going to finish off this vlog here i feel like there's been plenty of content and i don't want to make it too long and i also am eager to get this up and edited for you guys on time for Wednesday's upload. I hope you guys have enjoyed. Again, apologies for missing my last upload. If ever I'm missing like that again, uh, I'll always update you guys over on my Instagram for more like real time updates. So yeah, if you're not following on Instagram, I would love, a big goal of mine this year is to grow that platform. TikTok and Instagram, the kind of reels, the styling content I've been sharing with you, you probably will have seen as well these Abercrombie bits beforehand because this like youtube is always a little bit delayed uh so more real time in the moment the home sense shopping the tk max shopping the abercrombie shopping zara wherever it may be you're more than likely going to see it on my instagram before youtube if you do want to kind of get ahead of the game there so yeah thank you so much for watching guys i hope you all have a lovely rest of your day rest of your week i'll see you again on sunday for another vlog and until then just have a lovely time whatever it is that you're doing and i hope to see you all again then bye guys mm -hmm.